the past 48 hours, they've been tough. Um, I will just say this, do things that make your heart happy because life is short, enjoy it. Um, and I'm going to do that right now. Talking baseball is one of my favorite things, so let's get to it. Nick Castellano is the final um, blue chip free agent outfielder. Domino has fallen. He's agreed to a four-year, $64 million deal with the Cincinnati Reds. I guess that's their favorite deal as the Cincinnati Reds signed second baseman, third baseman Mike Moustakis to that same deal earlier this offseason. They've improved greatly. Their offensive numbers last season were putrid, and that's being nice, especially shocking given that Great American Small Park, but adding Nick Castellano is a great move for them, um, even though it creates a big log jam for them in the outfield, a lot like the Braves. But um, Nick Castellanos brings you a lot. He's uh, a doubles machine. He led the majors, I believe, with 59 in 2019. And given that ballpark, a lot of those might go out of the ballpark. And I, um, this deal from a player perspective is absolutely amazing as there are two um, opt-outs for Castellanos to choose the first two years and a fifth-year player option. So basically, he has all the power. Um, I'm really glad the Braves didn't sign this um, because Castellanos' defense isn't uh, top tier, but you can get away with that in Great American Ballpark because a lot of um, balls that are hitting the outfield are over your head. So you don't really have to deal with defense too much. So uh, this is just a great deal for them. Their lineup is uh, coming together quite nicely. You got Suarez, who's coming off a 50 homer season, I believe. Aquino, who came on the scene. They also got that Japanese outfielder. I do not want to butcher his name, but the, and Nick Sanzel. Apparently, Nick Sanzel's name is on the chopping block. Another outfielder, youngster. He struggled with injuries in his early major league career, but he's a very uh, capable capable guy with speed and whatnot, so they may um, think about moving him, but I would caution you there because he was uh, their former top prospect, so don't give up on him too quickly. He showed you tools, um, and I think that's uh, something to consider. But Nick Castellanos will fit in nicely, probably, in between Suarez, Vado, and Moustakis. And you definitely, Aquino is going to be there. And you got Winker and Shebler. So I don't know what they're going to do in the outfield. But like I said with the Braves, it's not a bad idea to have options. And like many things in sports, they tend to work themselves out. And um, I really don't. Uh, that's all, uh, too rich for my blood in the Braves situation. But it works out for Cincinnati, I believe. And I think they've improved the most in the NL Central and might be poised to make a run uh, given that they have uh, Luis Castillo, Trevor Bauer, um, Amir Garrett, and all of those. They've got great pieces in every section of their team, so I, I'm really liking this Reds team, and you get to play 81 games in American Small Park, so Great American Small Park, so it really can't get any better. They're going for it, but I just don't know how they're going to piece everything together, but I'm I'm sure they are going to be absolutely fine. But um, this offseason has been fun to follow. Uh, baseball is getting right around the corner. Cannot wait. As always, go Braves.